Yeah, well, I, I think there's th probably three points in there I should respond to. <clears throat> One is just this comparison between the the moral status of the people suffering in Gaza, the innocent victims of of um, bombing, of, you know, so called collateral damage, which is it was the euphemism we tend to use here, and the let's take the you know the teenagers massacred at the the music festival by Hamas, right? There. There's a very important difference between those two groups of people. You know, the, the, the first are being victimized. However, surely they're being victimized. It is inadvertent. It is not desired on the Israeli side for the most, leave aside the sociopathic fanatic who wants to kill Palestinian children. Generally speaking, if, if the IDF could go in there and kill only Hamas, you know, if you gave them magical weapons, what would they do with them? They would kill only Hamas. Right. And they would turn Gaza into, you know, the south of France. Right. I mean, I mean, it's clarifying to ask, what would people do if you gave them the power to do anything they want? What would they do? What would members of Hamas do? They would kill all the Jews on Earth. No question. Right. And many other people. Right. And what would the Islamic State do? They would turn the whole world into the hellhole that they created in Syria and Iraq. Right, they, that's exactly the way they like it: crucifying apostates and blasphemers, you know, taking sex slaves, all of it. Right, none of that was an aberration. That's exactly what they wanted. Right, what would what would you know? What would Dick Cheney have done? You know, in the invasion of Iraq, would he have killed everybody? No, he would have turned Iraq into you know, Oklahoma. Right. Um, so it's it's, it's important to, to 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 track people's actual motives. What kind of world do they want to build? Like, what do they want for other people? What are, just how zero sum are they?